So today I am going to try to replicate the Parmesan cheese crust that they have at Longhorn Steakhouse. It is one of my favorite things of all time. Now, I'm severely lactose intolerant, but this cheese crust from Longhorn does not bother me. I got some Parmesan cheese. Now, the recipe that I found calls for real provolone, but I couldn't find any fake provolone. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to use real provolone in my own recipe. So I'm, I bought this fake mozzarella. We're gonna see how it does. Panko breadcrumbs, unsalted butter, garlic powder, salt, and ranch dressing. We're gonna get it all together. Okay, to start, I have a cup of the Parmesan, a cup of my fake mozzarella. This recipe that I found says a cup of real provolone, and then a third cup of ranch dressing. I'm going to combine it all. It is now somewhat well combined. Now on to the panko breadcrumb topping. Okay, so for the crust, we have one cup of panko breadcrumbs. We have a third cup of melted unsalted butter. We have two teaspoons of garlic powder and a fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix it up and spread it over the cheese mixture. Okay, the breadcrumbs are over the cheese mixture. I have my oven preheating to 450. We're going to cook this until the cheese is melted and the breadcrumbs are golden brown. Now, the recipe that I found says to broil, but obviously I'm not going to do that because this pan says to not use it under broil. Also, the recipes include the chicken that this is usually on top of, but I'm just making the Parmesan cheese crust. I'm not making it to be put on top of chicken. I want to have this so I could have it on steak, chicken, or pork, or whatever I make over the next few days. Okay, so I baked it at 450 for about 9 to 10 minutes until it started getting golden brown on top. You can see the cheese is bubbling. Now, obviously, if I could broil it, I'd probably get a nicer darker browning on top, but I don't want to overdo it with the baking. So we're going to let it cool and then try it out on some chicken. Like I said, this is actually meant to be cooked on top of the chicken, but I want to use it for other meats. So I'm going to give it a try and let you know how it is. Guys, this is so delicious. You have the creamy melted cheese, the buttery panko breadcrumbs, that little bit of garlic in there. Oh my God. I highly, highly recommend this. Either use my recipe in this video or go find a Longhorn Steakhouse panko breadcrumb copycat recipe. Delicious on any of your meat. Thank you so much for watching.